So to give an example here, now that uh, we've turned on manual calculations and turned on this iteration, um, instead of having this automatic calculation, let's say I have over here um, a value 4 in A1. And in B1, I say equals A1. So it's going to put a 4 in there. If I now put a 5 in A1, uh, even though this refers to A1, it still has the value 4 as opposed to 5 because I didn't recalculate. Um, I made all this calculation automat uh, manual instead of automatic, so now I'm pressing the F9 key and it changes to a 5. So that's manual calculation. Um, so I'm just turning this on so that uh, we could uh, set it up uh, bef before doing uh, this iteration to calculate a value. And then uh, we'll, see, we'll see what it gets before we manually calculate it and then after we manually ca calculate it. So we have an A, uh, we have uh, a 5 in A1 right now, and let's say, um, I say that A2 has the value equals A1 plus, um, let's say A2 is actually going to be equal to A2 plus 1. So here, it started out, there was 0 in there, so uh, in a2, because it was entirely blank. So if I said that A2 um, has the value A2 plus 1, so it took that 0, it added 1, and that's why I have the 1 in there. Of course, if I would just keep on calculating uh, based on the previous value, there really should be an infinity symbol in here, because now there's a 1 in A2. If I calculate again, so it's going to be the old value of A2, which is now this 1, plus 1, and that would give me 2. So I should put a 2 in there instead of a 1. But if I put a 2 in there in A2, then A2 plus 1 is going to give me 3, which is going to give me 4, which is going to give me 5, all the way up to positive infinity. So um, now just uh, to show that this will happen, um, so remember I'm only iterating once instead of uh, 100 times as it was set beforehand. So I'm going to now press F9 to recalculate. And now it turns to a 2, it turns to a 3, it turns to a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7. And every single time I press F9, it will recalculate here. Okay. Um, and I'll stop it now. Every single time uh, I'm going to do some recalculation on this sheet, though, it's going uh, to do that. Okay, so um, that's, a concept of, that's the concept of uh, cir circular references. Here's a case where I actually wanted it uh, deliberately. So... Just to give an example of uh, an intentional circular reference, let's go to sheet two for a second, where we have some more uh, space to work. Zoom it to 200% so you could see. Um, and uh, an example I'm going to give is some company decides to donate 10% uh, of its uh, of its net profit to charity. How a net is gross minus expenses. So um, the thing is that that charity that they give, they also want to uh, be calculated, uh, to be considered um, an expense. So let's just go back here to Tools, Options, and I'm going to set the maximum iterations here to be 100. Now, it doesn't always have to iterate 100 times. If you look here, it's that you, turn, you click check off this iteration. You should set, set max, maximum iteration, let's say, to 100 times. And it's going to continue up to either 100 times or where the maximum change from the previous value is 0 0.001, and you could change it to other values. The idea is that you're trying to recalculate until you converge at some result. Um, okay, so let's click on OK, and let's give this example. Here's the gross. Um, here are the expenses. Here is the charity that they're giving, and then we have... Um, then we have the, um, the net profit. So let's bold all of these. So let's say that the gross, the company happens to make $100,000. Um, and their expenses are, let's say, $50,000. So Barring any other information, the net profit is going to just be this gross, this $100,000 minus 
the expenses. Let's say we're going to start out the charity being zero because we don't know how much charity we're going to give. Now we'll say that the net profit is equal to this gross, so I'll click here, B1, is equal to B1, minus the expenses, minus also the charity, which presently is zero. And then I press enter. So it's uh, B4 is equal to B1 minus B2 minus B3. So we have, like we expect, $50,000 here. However, the charity that we're going to give is going to be 10%. That's what I'm going to put in C, uh, C3. And it's going to be 10% of the net. So to calculate this, I go to B3 and I say equals um, the net profit times 10%. And that gives 5,000. And it's able to calculate that because uh, it's basically just giving that first value. Now, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's set to manually recalculate. So I'm going to press F9 here, and you see it recalculates again. And um, it now comes up with uh, four thousand five hundred and forty five dollars and forty five cents and this is the net profit um, okay so uh, there actually was this circular reference here because the charity depended on this net profit and the net profits depended on this charity okay I had to press F9 there because I was still uh, manually recalculating because I wanted to show the value beforehand and afterwards um, okay so that's uh, one example where we're uh, make, taking advantage of uh, 